focusing on you. From your team of experts at Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center, South Florida's only National Cancer Institute designated cancer center. A decade after battling breast cancer, Stephanie Leva found out her fight wasn't over. Pretty much 10 years later, I found out I had ovarian cancer. Dr. Matthew Schlumbrecht, a gynecologic oncologist at Sylvester, recommends patients like Stephanie undergo genetic testing, not just for BRCA that can raise a woman's risk for breast cancer, but for a panel of genes, including the less well-known PALB2. So everybody has PALB2. When PALB2 is mutated, that complex doesn't work as efficiently. So much like BRCA1 and 2, there are associated increased cancer risks when people have a genetic mutation in PALB2. Doctor, what does the PALB2 mutation put us at risk for? If there is a mutation in PALB2, the cancer risk that is the most high is breast cancer. And in fact, the risk for breast cancer in a PALB2 mutation carrier is approximately 44% over the course of a patient's lifetime. So for comparison, the risk of breast cancer in the general population is about 11%. So that's a significant increased risk associated with a PALB2 mutation. The gene mutation can also increase the risk of ovarian and pancreatic cancers. So how do we know if we have it? It's really important that in conversations with your physician, you determine whether or not you're high enough risk based on your personal and family histories to undergo testing. And then if you are, the most appropriate test to have. Doctor, why is this so near and dear to your heart? PALB2 in particular is very special to me because my spouse actually is positive for PALB2. We only detected that because of a family history of breast cancer with my in-laws. And so on a very personal level, I can recognize why it is so important to understand risk and to undergo surveillance early because this really allows us to take back control of our health. Stephanie learns she has the PALB2 mutation. Now she's being closely monitored by an entire team of specialists at Sylvester. One of the benefits of being at Sylvester is that we really take a comprehensive approach to patient care here. We can really develop a treatment plan and a surveillance plan for each individual patient. Stephanie, a beloved teacher and mom, is thankful to the team at Sylvester and to be here to watch her adopted daughter Sloan grow up. I got married a uh, uh, late in life, first and only time, and was unable to have children. It's difficult to adopt, but we got the perfect kid for us when she was three days old. She's getting ready to graduate from college, so my prayers have been answered.